Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I've selected a composer who's had a role to play in these two organizations. And today it's the British and American composer Thea Musgrave. Born in 1928, she was a student in Paris with Nadia Boulanger. She studied with Aaron Copland. She composed 12 operas, among them a wonderful opera about Harriet Tubman. And in 2002, she was knighted by the Queen and in 2017 was given the Queen's Medal for Music, which is like the top medal that anyone can get. Her music has a real sense of drama about it. It's not necessarily music that you go back and hum a melody, but it is wonderful music. Here is a piece that she wrote back in the 1970s, words of Michelangelo, so of course in Italian, that says, oh how dear to me is sleep, it is more the likeness of stone. So you just have to kind of feel that drama and idea in this music of Thea Musgrave. Now, not all of Thea Musgrave's music <clears throat> is in that kind of brooding, dreamy sense. She wrote a piece which we have performed at Vocal Essence, a piece called Make Ye Merry for Him That Is Come. This is an old 15th century poem. And what I loved about it is that you have this Gregorian chant melody. I can't play all the parts of this at once. So you have, this is going throughout the piece. And then the next phrase comes. Now, just imagine, while that's going, then there is this choir of sopranos and altos who are doing this text, Father of Heaven, Blessed Thou Be, in what I call double tone. You have this chord, you have this chord, so they come together. It's sort of as if you went up in thirds, then the next one, and you put them all together. So you get. So you see that happens. So you can just imagine if you started this, so all of that comes together. And as the piece gathers in momentum, 
near the end, then suddenly these two sopranos are singing these wonderful roulades of tone going, you know. And all of that happening at once. It's a wonderful, wonderfully effective piece for female voices, but you need a lot of them to make it work. Well, another piece that Thea wrote uh, <clears throat> is a piece in 1994. The transport system in England decided back in the 90s to uh, commission a whole bunch of poems that uh, could be put up in the subways. And Thea took a bunch of these, their po pieces of music that she called On the Underground. And I'm going to play you the piece that starts and ends the second group, a poem by Robert Herrick called Dreams. But what I love about it is that in the middle of this set, there is a poem, which I need to tell you the history. The poem is called The Subway Piranhas. And it says at the bottom of this piece of music, this poem commissioned for the inauguration of Glasgow's refurbished underground so alarmed the transport executive it was never used in the subway. Here's why. Can you imagine you're sitting <clears throat> in the subway and you see this poem up there? Did anyone tell you that in each subway train there is one special seat with a small hole in it and under the seat is a tank of piranha fish which have not been fed for quite some time? And then it goes on in la 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 in her music. The fish become agitated by the shoogling of the train and jump up and down through the seat. You can just imagine had that been there, people very proper having this happen. So anyway, it never appeared in the sub, but she wrote a wonderful piece about it. So the beginning of this on the underground starts and ends with this beautiful evocative music, words of Robert Herrick that said, here we are all by day, by night. Music of Thea Musgrave. Have a wonderful day.